everyone our today's topic is the addition of binary numbers and the subtraction of binary numbers today we will see how you can add the two binary numbers and in the next lecture we will see how you can add three four or five binary numbers so the method will be the same but a little bit tricky so let's see we will start with the basics then we move toward then we will move towards the the complex ones so we so today we are having a very uh, simple example of the addition of the binary numbers so we'll start with the addition and then we'll move towards the subtraction so in addition the one thing that you have to keep in your mind in binary numbers while adding the two binary numbers the we will add bit by bit bit means binary digit one binary digit is equals to one or zero so we will add bit by bit and the answer we will get after adding will be in zeros or ones we will not get any other number other than zero or one because we are adding in binary number system and in binary we will we always have only zero and one so let's start we will always start adding bit by bit from right to left so this will be the way so first of all we will have the we will have the first column from the right and the first column is this in which we have to add 1 plus 0 so it's obvious 1 plus 0 is 1 here we don't need to get into the to get into deep in how you can add the binary number because it's so simple but when we move towards the next column towards the left this is 1 plus 1 that is equals to 2 as 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 in binary numbers we never get 2 3 4 or 5 as we all should always have the combination of zeros and ones so for 1 plus 1 what we have to do let's see 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 so we have to convert this 2 that is in decimal into the binary how by dividing like 2 ones are 2 remainder is 0 so we have to take these two bits as these are in 1 and 0 so we can replace 2 with 1 and 0 so we have to keep the 0 here and move the 1 as carry to the next column now 1 plus 0 plus 0 will be 1 and then we have 0 plus 1 in the next column that will be 1 and then 1 plus 0 is 1 and then 1 plus 1 is again 2 and 2 will be replaced with 1 and 0 so this is how you can add the two binary numbers but this method is valid only when we have 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 if we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3 then in case of 2 the binary equivalent will be 1 and 0 and in case of 3 the binary equivalent will be 1 and 1 how let's see you must know the conversion from decimal to binary in such a case so if you have 3 you have to divide it with 2 2 ones are 2 and 1 so 1 one, 1 one will be the binary equivalent of 3 so when we move towards 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 it will be equals to 4 now here comes the three digits how if i divide 4 by 2 i will get 2 twos are 4 it's 0 then 2 ones are 2 and it's 0 1 0 0 i will get three digits that is 1 0 0 now in such a case what we have to do then we have to do a different method that we will learn in our next lecture so currently you have to leave here by in which you have to add the numbers that will combine to give up to 3 when you add the digits and they will give 4 how we have to deal with such numbers we will discuss in next lecture now we move towards the subtraction of the binary numbers subtraction of binary numbers is the same as we do in the decimal number uh, we have to keep check that the number at the top row must be greater than the number at the bottom so here we have the two numbers let's start it from here again the order is from right to left like this we have to subtract bit by bit first we have to take the this bit so it is clear from here that we can't subtract 1 from 0 so here comes the concept as in case of decimal subtraction that we have to borrow from the right column now here in the right column we don't have a digit we again have zero then we move towards the next we have to borrow from the left column now in the left column we don't have any digit again we have the zero then we move towards the next column here we have the one now we can borrow one from this column to this 
so in here comes the point that when you borrow in case of binary numbers the borrow will give you 2 while in case of decimal the digit becomes 10 but here the digit becomes 2 so we will get 2 here now from this 2 we have to borrow it to the next column to make that column to make that digit 0 2 as well so that will be 2 now we can easily subtract so 2 minus 1 is 1 and what left in the previous column that is on the left as we have taken borrow from here 2 minus 1 is equals to 1 so here 1 left now 1 minus 1 is 0 and what left in the third column 0 left so 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so this is how you subtract in case of the binary numbers now one thing in order to check whether your subtraction is right or not Keep this in mind uh, that you should know the binary to decimal conversion. If you know, then you can easily check the number at the top here is the binary equivalent of 20, 20 in decimal and the number in the next row is 19 in decimal. So when you subtract them, you will get 1 and similarly we have also get 1 in the answer while subtracting the two binary numbers. So this is how you can subtract in uh, case of the binary numbers borrow is 2 in binary if I write here for your convenience and borrow in case of decimals is 10 that borrow means if when you when you get the borrow the next number becomes 10 so that's all from today's lecture in the next lecture we will see how you can add more than two binary numbers where you will get the numbers after adding in three digits in three bits here we get two bits one we kept in the um, uh, 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 one we kept in the answer and the other moves to the carry but when you get the three bits how you to, how how to do, deal with that situation we will see it in the next lecture so that's all from today's lecture